three months after we started dating, I got pregnant with my daughter. And then it was towards the end of the pregnancy that the verbal abuse started. And then it was after she was born that the physical had started. And I just felt like this is, this is my life now. Yeah, I was living in my country, Morocco, and he was living here in uh, USA. We met each other online. He was abusing my son. That is more hurtful part. He was abusing, he take for him shower. He was abusing sexual my son. And he was threatening me to take him away from me. Yeah, he is from another country too. What about if he take him to his country? How can I find my son? He was kicking me and I was telling him, if you try to hit me, I'm going to scream extremely loud. And then numbers, they will call police. And he is hurting me, but most of the time, he does like to put marks on, on me, you know. He just wants me to live with him as a slave. He would hit on me in front of his friends to show his macho-ness. There was a specific time that actually led me to, to want to leave. We were in the kitchen, he was cooking, I was going into the refrigerator to get something, and he was just constantly calling me names, fat, and he unloaded all the contents of the refrigerator on me, opened every jar, poured it on me, everything in the refrigerator he had poured on me. And the last thing was a bottle of hazelnut creamer. He poured it right on top of my head and refused to let me take a shower. At this point, I was ready. I couldn't handle any more. My parents had gotten some information about the Bethany House through their church. I went to some of their support groups for codependency, abused women. So I started to kind of hear other stories and hear other people's lives to know enough that this isn't how you should be treated. So uh, there's a lot of planning, there's a lot of thought, um, because a woman essentially has to pick up and leave her life completely and start all over, some, sometimes with nothing in their hands. That's not easy to do. Um, we've heard so many stories of women who've come to us who just left. They left everything behind, grabbed their kid, grabbed their keys, and left with nothing. And so if you can imagine all of the creature comforts that you have every day that you may take for granted, shampoo, a wallet, a cell phone, uh, a warm bed, uh, a car to drive. Those are things that women leave behind in exchange for uh, the chance at life. Bethany House is special for many reasons. Uh, one of the reasons is that we offer long-term stay um, and give the women enough of a program and time to recover. But another issue is uh, these women have been crushed. Their spirits have been damaged, their, their self-image has gone. And what we allow and what we encourage is a meeting with Christ so that they can understand that they really are special. They are made in the very image of God. He loves them, He will provide for them, and their future is bright is what we want to be able to share with them. So He will provide not only for today and tonight to keep them safe, but for their eternity. My counselor, I was so closed off when I started going to the Bethany house. It took some time. She had to kind of break that shell a little bit, but she did, and that's when a lot of the healing began. It's very important for women to get out of abusive relationships. What we know is that domestic violence almost always escalates and far too often escalates to homicide. And so we don't want women to take the chance of believing that it'll get better or that he won't do it again or that tomorrow will be a different day. 
If you're being abused, the best thing you can do is to get out and to get help. And there are resources. You do not have to be afraid. You don't have to believe that you're alone. We're here for you. We're here to provide you with the help and the resources that you need. Yeah, thank God I'm around the people who care about, uh, about my situation. I love them. I think they have an amazing program. I think their staff is just warm and amazing. The Bethany House saved my life.